All right, here we are at 502 Rice, brought to you by Farm Bureau. Got the house. As you can see, they're still moving. They have this over here in the way, but don't let that discourage you from the house. See around the neighborhood. Got a little bit of through traffic over here. Got a tree outside. As you can see, roof looks fairly good. No missing shingles, barely any like lumps or anything going on up there. Very nice. As we look along the bushes, you can see, everything looks pretty good. You can see over here, it does look like there was some damage done. Not sure about what. You can also look towards the garage see a couple of things over here but nothing significant and test to see if the door opens all right let's go inside all right as we get inside we can look up under here you can see there is a bird's nest over there all right let's continue see the door bells a little bit off let me straighten that up put a nail on the bottom screw all right and as we enter inside see they did paint this wall unique design and then you have the living area to your right we'll go over there ignore the kitty cat see the ceiling a little bit higher very open into the living area See where you have your kitchen, your dining area over here can lead to outside. And here is the kitchen. No evidence of any leaks or anything. So that's good. And if you continue into the living area and go towards the right, you will enter into the garage. It is a one car garage. Uh, as you can see though, this is a lift. It's not an automatic. You have to manually lift the garage. And on the other side, you can see you have a door to the exit. All right. That's on the outside. All right, before we go outside, let's go and check out the bedrooms. So when you enter on the inside and you go towards the left, you will go towards the bedrooms. Before we do that, we want to take notes of this door over here. It looks like they cut out a corner for the cat. So it has, you know, food and everything in here. And you also have your pantry over here for the kitchen. All right, and as we go through the hall towards the bathrooms, we have a closet over here. You can use it as a linen closet, coat closet, whatever you want. Then you have this little mini hallway the washer and dryer on both sides before you get to the bathroom. You have a shelf right here. And here is a community bathroom. Typical shower. And then once again, whenever we're going through the hallway towards the left, you have your bedroom number one. Standard size bedroom. If you notice the windows over here are stained glass windows. And then you have your closet. Standard size closet.
Now, as you can see over here is a mark on the door. Looks like something might have hit it. And if we go, if we continue down the hallway, to right we'll have the master bedroom and to the left we'll have the bedroom number two. So let's go and check that one out first. All right, as you can see, very similar to the other one, but this one has a lot of LED lining. So depending on how they take that out, or if they do take it out, it may leave um, paint missing. Now, as you can see, standard size closet. Once again, very similar to the other. All right, now let's go and check out the master. All right, and also you can see the attic is actually in the bedroom, number two. All right, and now we are in the master bedroom. As you can see, it can accommodate king size bed. We have a closet in here. See a light? Roll it down there and over there. All right. Here's the bathroom. We have a stand up shower, your mirror, and your sink, and toilet. Again, the lower half has a little bit of stained glass also. All right, that is it for the inside. Let's go and check out the outside. All right, you have two ways of reaching the backyard. Either go from inside here or from the garage. So let's go from the inside. Check out these doors. Have your sliding glass doors. As you can see, they built a little bit of a shelter and a deck out here so that way you can have a little bit of shade some light fixtures can barbecue out here you see that's the entrance to the garage as you can see over here you see the roof is standard and the shelter that he built looks like it has a little tin roof We also have a little fire pit out here. Chain link fence going across. I'm gonna see the HVAC system over here. The older, not too new. A little bit of scuffs over here. It's like something might have ran into it. Similar over here on this side of the house. Let's see. Right over there. A little bit of scuff. And then you also have a little park into the house. Might have been weeding. All right. We can continue around the side of the house. All right, so I close off the fence. Look up. All right. Now let's go to the other side. As you can see over here, you can see where, once again, possibly when they're weeding, uh, broken off that little part over there. And you see the drainage actually goes underground and it will come out on another side so that's good it drains it away from the house and we'll continue to look at the house look around you can see the other neighbors and then you have your fence over here i'm not sure how functional it is 
not very functional because it needs a little bit of treatment towards grass and weed eating. But we'll walk around the side and we'll check that other part out. All right, as you can see on the other side of the house, we do have a few marks over here. You can see where the wires are coming out and going up under there. Cable on this side. See where they've definitely hit the house and plastered some of it. Like such right there. And right there. That is 